Fed up, Queen Elizabeth refuses to attend wedding ceremony after Meghan's big secret comes out. Queen Elizabeth II may be 91 years old, but she's no fool. Meghan Markle, who will do anything to marry Prince Harry, left out some pertinent details about her past in order to get that sparkling diamond engagement ring from the Queen's grandson. Those details are the big secret, quote-unquote, that Princess Pushy knew would char change everything about her fairy tale wedding. Her secret is out, and the Queen is utterly shocked as she refuses to attend the wedding ceremony. Dig deep enough into someone's past, and you will find skeletons in their closet. But when it comes to the royal family, who go by strict guidelines in everything in their lives, certain past life choices are game changers, especially when it comes to marrying a royal who is in the succession line to the throne. And as we know, Prince Harry is in the succession line to the throne. One of those past choices is a divorce. We all know Meghan Markle was married before, and for those who did not see marriage as a church sacrament, a divorce would have no bearing on remarrying. However, the Queen is the head of the Church of England, which see marriage as a sacred vow and sacred sacrament, and the Queen herself had to forbid her own sister Margaret from marrying a divorced man who she was in love with. Like we said once before, this is not the British monarch's first rodeo when it comes to messy royal engagements. The liberal press has been spinning Prince Harry and Meghan's wedding plans as doing it their own way, quote unquote. The idiot mainstream media is going gaga, thinking Harry and Princess Pushy are breaking all the rules with how they want things done. Nope, none of that is true. In fact, after the Queen found out Princess Pushy had been married for only 48 months, well, 48 months is not that short, it's four years, and had divorced just four years ago, the British monarch had to send Mrs. Markle to the Archbishop of Canterbury, and here's where it gets really shocking. You cannot get married in the Church of England if you are divorced, and your ex-spouse is still living. In 2002, the Church of England relaxed some of the rules. Megan, with her royal connections, has interviewed was interviewed by the Archbishop of Canterbury, who must ascertain if her first marriage was indeed valid. And of course it was valid. <laughs> Megan is a divorcee, but the Church of England agreed in 2002 that divorced people could remarry in the church under certain circumstances, at the discretion of the priest, reports Hello Magazine. Even Prince Charles could not obtain a waiver from Camilla Parker Bowles, who was also a divorcee. Not consummating the marriage is the only surefire way to clear the way for a new marriage. And we doubt Megan could say she never had sex with her ex-husband, which meant Harry and Princess Pushy would not be allowed to marry with all the royal pageantry. They'd have to settle for lesser digs with a simple ceremony, but that's not all. This made the queen livid. She wanted her grandson to have all the pomp and circumstance that comes with having the nuptials at Westminster Abbey. All the grand tradition that comes with the royal wedding for those in the direct line to the throne. But like his father, Prince Charles, who married a divorcee, Harry too will have to be married in a civil ceremony first. So there's the real shocker. Yes, the Queen, as head of the Church of England, cannot be present at the actual wedding ceremony which will take place at a registry office because this makes it a civil marriage, not a religious ceremony. But she will be able to attend the simple Windsor Castle event, which takes place later and will be a church blessing with all the trimmings of a full church service. Megan is, after all, a divorcee, so it would probably be a registry office ceremony with a church blessing afterwards. Royal biographer Penny Juner told Town & Country, if it was to be in the UK, then I would guess that all senior members of the royal family would be there, but I don't think the Queen would go to the registry office. So if you're utterly confused, you're not alone. This information is what is really going on behind the scenes, 
Sometime before the big Windsor Castle ceremony in St. George's Chapel on May 19th, Harry and Meghan will be secretly married in a civil ceremony. It's possible this civil ceremony has already taken place, and that is why Meghan is openly living with Harry and was invited to the Christmas festivities. Then on May 19th, the church ceremony will be held at Windsor Castle with all the guests, and the Archbishop of Canterbury will bless their civil marriage, while most watching on TV will not be any wiser. Now, most of this information has been completely ignored by those in the mainstream media who are just gushing over Princess Pushy. There are bogus reports saying that, quote, they'll be wed at Windsor Castle in a full church wedding for Kensington Palace, end quote. And while the essence that may be true, they will already be civilly married. It's a good possibility that they already are, although the palace is keeping a tight lid on all of this information. When they say Megan's doing it her way, if you know anything about the British monarchy, that idea is laughable. In the British royal family, there's only one way, and that's the Queen's way or the highway. Princess Pushy will dance when the Queen says dance, and if she gets out of rhythm in any way, she'll find that Tiara knocked off her head so fast and her butt back in Toronto where she can do it her way to her heart's desire.